Hi everyone, Andre here, and today we're going to be taking a look at Crazy Talk Animator 2, Pro Version, by Reillusion. Crazy Talk Animator is a powerful 2D animator that incorporates several 3D animation tools to create an innovative and easy to use animation editor. Crazy Talk attempts to solve a universal issue when it comes to animating. Create high quality cartoon animations without spending hundreds of hours learning and mastering the software to become a skilled animator. When you first start the program, you're greeted to a traditional startup window that gives you a few options like checking for updates, download extra content, uh, the demo, and the documentation. The documentation, by the way, is very helpful and does a fantastic job informing you on every feature. To add to that, it's all very straightforward since the interface of Crazy Talk is very easy to understand and get used to. Once you're in the actual program, on the right side, you have a window that displays content and properties. All windows, by the way, can be rearranged to your liking. The way information is displayed takes some time to get used to, but once you create a few projects, it becomes quick and easy to navigate. Crazy Talk's main selling feature is its ability to create 2D animations in a 3D space. With its powerful 3D editor, you're able to position props on the Z-axis, which makes it incredibly easy to organize your layers. Having layers be organized in a 3D space is a surprisingly effective alternative to the standard hierarchies found in most other industry standard software. Another way that the program utilizes its 3D capabilities is when it's rendering the characters or actors as it likes to call them. There are many different preset characters and templates to choose from, each with their own set of angles to be viewed in. You can import your own illustrations as well if you don't want to use the ones already provided. With the Character Composer feature, you can adjust the appearance of each actor from a large list of customizable options. Also, if you want, you can export each frame of your character's animations to be used in an external editor as well. For example, if you wanted to create a sprite sheet for a video game, you can create one and then import it into a program like Unity 3D. It saves a lot of time and money. And for more advanced users, Crazy Talk 2 also lets you import motion capture data to apply to your characters to smoothen workflow. On the timeline, you can set keyframes to seamlessly move, rotate, scale, and adjust any other properties available on the selected proper actor. The way the timeline is displayed can be confusing at first, and a few important options that I needed to change are hidden under a separate menu. But unless you're creating elaborate scenes, you don't usually need them. That said, the three audio tracks available and the FPS cap subtly remind you that there's a limit to how complex your scenes can actually get. The FPS is capped at 30, although when you export you can decrease it. There is no sequence manager either, so even though you can animate backgrounds to enable and disable at certain times to simulate different rooms or scenes, you're best starting a new project for each scene and clipping each exported video together in a third party software. But again, unless you're creating complex scenes or animations, the features provided work well. On the performance side, I've never had a crash although saving my project for some reason always takes a few seconds longer than it should. The amount of content crammed into this one program, even with the standard version, so non-pro or pipeline, has tremendous value. While it's not designed for complex or advanced animations, it is very practical for office uses like PowerPoints, uh, web ads, and several other small projects too. It's easy to use, easy to learn, and does a great job implementing several modern and practical features used in industry standard animation software, which is a huge plus. This is an example project that I put together in just a couple of hours. That's it, no more onions for me. I exported each scene individually and then clipped them together in Premiere Pro. Even if you don't have Premiere, any video editing software should work just fine, as long as it can support HD settings. Unfortunately, Crazy Talk allows exports in several different formats, which makes importing to external software very convenient. There are too many features to cover in this video, but if I had to sum them all up, I would say that I've had a blast experimenting. The lip editor allows for quick and easy mouth animations, 
and the render styles let me customize the visual aspects of my animations even more to my liking. The biggest aspect that Crazy Talk gets right is how easy it is to learn and how well it does what it was designed to do. You don't need to be a skilled animator to use Crazy Talk, and once you've used it for a while, you might even become one by learning many different tricks and strategies to craft your animations. Crazy Talk is not designed to create films, although you can use it for them. And that's something to keep in mind before you start using it. If you're new to animation, you will learn a lot here. But if you're looking for something that will challenge you and let you get really creative with your animations, you're probably best off practicing with higher end software. Animation is a broad topic and there are many different types. But like I was saying before, Crazy Talk is practical and is designed for specific types of animation and uses. If you like what I've been saying so far and think that you want to experiment, I encourage you to download the software and begin having some fun with it. 